Blessed Mario Bozaga Formation Community. During this uh, period of the COVID-19 stay home orders, we at Blessed Mario Bozaga, like everybody else, have been feeling the strain of having to stay at home. But we have also used the opportunity to come together as community. And during the last week, we took time to pray the Holy Week and Easter liturgies together as a community. It brought us together to follow Jesus in his passion, death and resurrection. And as we did this, we remembered you, our brother Oblitz, uh, members of our families and also our donors. We made a deliberate option to pray for you, our brothers, and to pray for all those who are on the forefront to try and mitigate the suffering that many are experiencing. Yesterday we celebrated Easter Sunday and it struck me that in the reading of the Gospel, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. And I think it's significant that this year we celebrate Easter while it is still dark. The pandemic has not been resolved and yet we do not lose hope. We do not lose faith. We trust that the risen Lord is with us and that the light which shone in the darkness will begin to shine, to shine again in our lives. Stay in place order, uh, as difficult as it is, uh, there's some, some benefits to it. Uh, one of the things is it makes us aware of people who we probably haven't contacted for a long time. Huh? Uh, and it gives us a chance to reach out to people uh, and, and let them know that we're thinking of them, we're caring about them. And I find myself doing that and I know that uh, our community is doing that too. And I'm sure those who are watching this, the coronavirus experience that we're all going through and last week, I'll just share with you a little bit, um, it, it, I woke up and I was thinking about that question and it sort of hit me in the face. Hey, we're missionary outlets, we're missionaries. And part of my mission, and I dare say of our outlet mission, is to be here and now in this place. So even though it sounds like a strange way of being missionary, I think that I find that I am called to be here with these men as they walk through this time. And it's confusing and uh, uh, spontaneous as it is. Everything sort of happens each day. So what do we do that? How, how do we find ourselves doing, uh, passing each day? Well, first of all, is prayer, of course, and uh, we have our ordinary prayer life, but uh, particularly in these times, we've been very, very mindful of all of our loved ones, and not just the people we know by any means, but of the people who know the oblates and love the oblates, and more than that, even people who have no one to think of them, people who have no one to love them. We are very mindful of those people in our liturgies and our prayers. And I think that is especially true in this Holy Week. You know, ordinarily in Holy Week, uh, the, the priests, as well as the scholastics, the brothers, uh, go out to very, a very a variety of places. And we don't, as a community, celebrate the Holy Week liturgies. But this year, one of the gifts, <laughs> if I can put it that way, of the virus is we had no parish to go to. The parishes were not open for uh, masses. They were done electronically. So the seminarians who would ordinarily work with RCIA and accompany the RCIA and the Easter Vigil and you know, that sort of thing, they were here. And so we had our Palm Sunday uh, liturgy and Holy Thursday and Good Friday and the Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday 
here as a community, something that we wouldn't ordinarily do. And it was, I have to say, it was beautiful. Uh, and it really had a special meaning because we knew that we weren't just praying for ourselves. It was praying for all these people who are part of our large family and the church as a whole, and the people who particularly know us and support us with their loving friendship. You bore well on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, that in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.